Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Ritz. Today I am honored to walk around a 2022 Newmark King Air 4533. Brand new coach just showed up on the lot three or four days ago and it is available for sale. So before we start walking around the inside and everything, let's talk about the exterior. Standard on the 2022 Newmark King Air, we have the two Gerard Nova awnings, those are integrated dual pitch awnings. We have three ways to control them. We have a controller inside, controllers down in the basement, and then the handy dandy remote. So with that Gerard Nova awning package, we actually get three different awnings. Total of seven awnings on this coach, but we'll talk about them all individually. So front awning, and then rear awning, they're both gonna start retracting now. And then last but not least, we get this awning here, which is just above the door. Give you some shade as you walk out, maybe keep the rain off you, that kind of stuff. We're gonna go ahead and retract all three of those. So now we have these smaller awnings out over the windows. These are our Gerard window awnings. They are, again, a friendless awning. Now the only difference between these and our big awnings is where they're controlled. These awnings are all gonna be controlled on the KIB panels inside, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. One thing I really love about these Gerard frameless awnings is we get the LED light strip just like we do in our big awnings. So if they're out at night, they provide extra lighting on the exterior of the coach. So, Jody, if you wanna back up, let's talk about the exterior graphics here. This is going to be the Baroque exterior paint scheme. So kind of a neutral grayish silver, white, and then a really, really pretty dark blue. One of my favorite paint schemes for the 2022 models. Up above here, we do have dual pane tinted bonded windows. So what those bonded windows means is we don't have any frame on them. It'll be more noticeable on the inside than the outside, but big, beautiful dual pane tinted windows. Let's go ahead and start walking around some exterior storage. Up here in the front compartment, nothing but storage. This is gonna be our tallest bay, so all of your taller items, this is a great place to keep them. In 2019, the Newmark King Air started doing the easy open and close baggage doors. So, we don't have to slam these at all with one finger, just push it until it latches, and then it sucks itself the way back, or the rest of the way in, using, a, um, using the latching mechanism. Now to open these baggage doors, all it is, push a button, and then they pop open. Pretty awesome system there. Now, for those of you who are a little scared of you know, some of this newer technology, there is an emergency release that will tell you about the day you pick up this coach. Now, second bay back, the first of our pass-through bit trays. So 91 inches long from end to end. This is going to be, or this is gonna have a 1,000 pound capacity and comes out 60% either direction. So we'll run it all the way out just so you can see it. Now remember there is a slide out here. So if this slide was out, it would be covering this up just a little bit, but gives you great access to your uh, basement storage. Now there is a safety mechanism here, so you don't have to worry about stopping it. It's gonna stop automatically. You don't have to worry about running this tray through the other side and damaging your bay door on the other side. Same thing here. A little bit bigger tray, still 91 inches wide, just a couple inches, or 91 inches long, just a couple inches wider. I'm not gonna make you guys sit here while I run that one all the way out, it comes out the same distance. All right, now standard on the 2022 King Air, we do have the Medic CFX, which is a two bay refrigerator freezer. This is going to run off of either 12 volt or 110 volt, just depending on what you have available. Now we do have dual side climate control. So climate control over on this side. We can set one to be a freezer, one to be a refrigerator, both the freezer, both the fridge. Just depends on what you need and you can set it. Also in this bay, we have a couple empty 110 volt outlets. So we do have exterior power if you need it. Something that sets the 4533 apart from the rest of the King Air floor plans is we have the basement Samsung 43-inch HDTV with the Bose Solo soundbar. 
So normally it'd be in the sidewall on the 4533. We've got it down here. Now on the back side of that is going to be your 105 gallon fresh water tank. It is completely concealed from the TV. We also get two more 110 volt outlets and two 12 volt USBs. And then over here, we've got the control for that Bose soundbar. Basically lets us put, choose our input source, whether it be that TV or the dash radio. We can also use Bluetooth from our cell phones to connect right to that uh, soundbar. Next bay, one of the most impressive bays on the Newmar King Air. So we've got two lithium battery packs in here, totaling 2,520 amp hours of battery power, as well as two Magnum 3000 watt inverters, which gives us the ability to run one of our roof air conditionings off of battery power. Really nice for when you're in transit, someone's sitting in the back where the dash AC isn't gonna reach, we can actually have cold air blowing just using our battery power. Now, these batteries have a couple cool features. One, they charge if you're plugged into shore power, they charge if you're plugged, or if you're running the generator, and three, they charge if you're running down the road via the alternator on the engine. They also have this never die battery management system. Basically what that is going to do is hold 10% of your battery power in reserve. So what's gonna happen, if you get low battery, it's gonna shut everything off. You just have to come outside here. There's a control switch on this side. You push it and everything comes back to life. It's just so that you don't run those batteries dead and to start having issues to where you can't get them to start going again. So great safety feature there. Now that entire bay is heated and cooled or has cooling system in it. Um, so those lithium batteries, you don't have to worry about them getting too hot or too cold. There is a temperature sensor inside that we'll talk about once we get there, but they've really thought through that lithium battery pack. Back behind our axles here, we've got the first of our Spartan bays. So in here, we've got the 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. Now we do have dual side fill on this. We can fill it from either the driver's side or passenger side. And then we also have our emergency valves to inflate airbags. If we were ever in a situation where they didn't inflate, we could do it manually to get us out of there. Second Spartan bay here. So we have two 12 volt chassis batteries. Those are gonna be just to start the engine up. Now, one thing I love about Spartan chassis is back here we've got our air dryer and our fuel water separator. Those are both maintenance interval items. So they're easy to access, access if you are the kind of person to do your own maintenance. It's not hard to get to them. Spartan actually makes a really cool kit that comes with your fuel water separator, your air dryer cartridge, and a couple extra belts, things like that. Just as an emergency kit, if you ever needed it while you're on the road, I would recommend keeping one with you. On the 2022 Newmark King Air, we do have the air release hood. So just flip a switch in this compartment and our hood goes up. Now this is pressurized by the air system on this Spartan K3 chassis. There is an auxiliary compressor just in case you ever low air and didn't want to start the engine and run it. Come around the back here. The 2022 Newmark King Air is powered by the Cummins ISX 15 liter which produces 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Biggest engine you can get in a modern day motorhome. Now coming down below, we've got a two and a half inch receiver with a 20,000 pound towing capacity. To the right, we have the Voyager connection. So if you have a trailer with a camera on it, we can use that connection to display your cameras on the screen in the cab. Seven pin connector for trailer brakes and trailer lights, and then your airline system for the Air Force One braking system if that's what you use on your tow vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and close this so you can get a good view of this beautiful rear cap. Notice how easy that is. I mean, flip a switch, let it do its thing. You don't ever have to worry about it. So full fiberglass rear cap, beautiful inlaid King Air logo. Up top here, we have a backup camera that is gonna be a full HD colored camera. The cool thing about this is we can actually adjust the angle in the cab. So if I wanna look down, say I'm trying to hook a trailer up and I need to see the hitch, I can look straight down on the hitch. If I'm backing into a spot, I can shoot it out that way farther. Um, just gives you a good sense of where you're at. Great safety feature there. All right, coming over to the passenger side, side mounted radiator on the 2022 Newmark King Air. Everything gets a little bit better airflow, reduce the risk of plugging it up and overheating your engine. Right here, We've got the other side of our DEF fill. So that's gonna run into that exact, or that uh, 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank we saw on the other side. 
And then a spot here for uh, gray and black tank hose storage, just so you don't have to keep it in your compartments. We all know how nasty those can get. Talk about one more safety feature here, integrated with the Spartan K3 chassis, we've got blind spot monitoring all the way around this coach. So we have a total of six of these sensors. We have one at each front corner, back corners, and then midship. Basically what these are gonna do, if there was a car sitting right here and we weren't able to see it in the mirror, there's a little triangle light that illuminates in that mirror to let us know that there's uh, someone there not to come over if we're trying to change lanes. Other side of our battery compartment, just to reiterate, 2,520 amp hours total of battery power here. Now with this having dual packs, we have another one of these never die systems. So we're gonna get 10% of our battery reserve on this side as well. And then the beautiful water compartment, which was new for 2022. So not a whole lot to see in here. Basically you get this stainless steel cover with a couple hidden doors. So if we open this up, we've got the mana block system, which allows us to isolate any faucet inside of this coach. Let's say the bathroom sink was leaking. We didn't want to stop the trip. We could isolate it, turn it off. That way we don't have to worry about it. Next compartment, this is going to be all of our normal water compartment things. So low point drains for winterization. This does have a black and gray tank rinse. So you have a sprinkler system inside of both of your holding tanks to, to uh, flush them out, sanitize them a little bit. Whole house water filter down below. Hot and cold exterior shower. Water hose on a reel. Now that is a uh, manual extend power retract. RV SantaCon system, which is a macerator pump to pump out your gray and black tanks. And then we have the manual dump. If for some reason your macerator pump ever failed, we still have just your standard gravity dump. Now, 2022 Newmark King Airs do have electronic black and gray tank valves. So push a button, it opens those valves up, makes it nice and clean, keeps your hands out of the way. We also have a control pad here. Now that control pad is gonna show us our tank levels, let us start and stop the generator, turn on our exterior lights so we can see what we're doing. A couple different things we can do with that one. Next compartment. So back behind this compartment, we're gonna have our Oasis Chinook system. That is gonna be our furnace as well as on-demand hot water. But what we can see in here right now, we have a 50 amp power cord on a reel. Again, manual extend, power retract. That is a 50 amp, 50 foot cord. Now over here, we also have a 30 amp connection. So if you wanted to plug in your stacker trailer, your grandkids travel trailer, whatever, you can absolutely uh, use the power from this coach to power another RV using the generator. All right, so now we're back to the other side of our pass-through bays. So we'll run one of these out again. Like I said, 1,000 pound capacity, 60% extension in either direction. All right, that's all the way out. And then back in we go. Now with every Newmar coach, we do get a couple extra floor tiles just in case we accidentally drop something and crack one. And I didn't mention it when we were back in the water bay. I mentioned that we had 105 gallons of fresh water. Gray water, we're gonna have 80 gallons and black water, we're gonna have 60. Next pass through bay. And then last but not least, the King Air exclusive standard. We've got a pressure washer down here. Now that is a hot water line to this pressure washer. 50 feet of cord. So if you want to pull it out, spray the bugs off the front of the coach, wash your tow vehicle real quick, use it for what you need, but great flexibility there. Now also up in this compartment, we have a second water filter. That is going to be a UV filter. And it is plumbed directly to a faucet or directly to the sink. So you have dual filtered water going to your sink. One more fuel fill. Well, I didn't show you the other side, but dual side fuel fill on the Newmark King Air, 200 gallons of diesel fuel. All, uh, it is one tank, but one tank filled on either side.
and then our electronics bay for the cab of this Spartan K3 chassis. So this is where we're gonna find the fuses for things like power seat, tilt wheel, step, all that stuff right here in this compartment. We also have the switch to extend our HWH hydraulic slide. That's gonna be your generator slide right here. It's gonna come out about four feet to make access to that generator a lot easier. Now, we're not gonna open it up right now, but back behind here, this is an Onan 12,500 watt diesel generator. So while we're up here, the stock number to this unit is 5N211492. Again, it's a 2022 Newmark King Air 4533, and it is available. All right, so before we head inside, I just wanna talk about a few things here. So on the Newmark King Air, we get a little camera right here. If someone comes to our door and rings the doorbell, we'll get a notification. It'll pop that camera on so we can see who's outside here. We also have keyless entry so we can enter our own code to unlock this entry door or lock it. And most importantly, it unlocks all of your baggage doors at the same time off of whatever code you set. Now we also have an HWH hydraulic step. It's going to be a three step, comes down, it's the lowest step in the industry. Now, I wanna just show a safety feature here, being that this is a hydraulic step and hydraulics have the tendency to be dangerous. If that step hits me or hits a curb or hits anything, it automatically shuts off that hydraulic pump. That way it doesn't just power through it and cause damage to either your coach or a leg. Close the door, fully retracts and resets, and then open it back up. And we've got that triple step. Now this coach is fully aired up right now, so this step is a little bit higher than what we would normally see when we were camping. We could drop this down probably another three to four inches just to make getting in and out of this coach a lot easier for those of you who have some movement issues. So as we come in here, I do have all of our slides closed up right now so that you can see your space while in transit. The 4533 floor plan is a little bit unique, but we have a ton of space in here to get back into our half bathroom, our refrigerator, and obviously we can access the entire kitchen here. It makes life really easy. Um, if you're driving along, one passenger wants to get up and make a sandwich or something really quick, very easy to do so. So we'll go ahead and open these slides now. So 4533 floor plan is a little bit unique. One, because we have dual hydraulic slides. So both our off door side and door side slide is an HWH hydraulic slide. So this one's gonna go all the way out and then we're gonna see it drop down and become a flush floor with no step up into that slide out. And that's full extension there. Same thing with the door side slide out. A little harder to notice just because you're not gonna be able to see a step up there, but it's gonna go full extension, then drop down. And then last slide is going to be for our king bed back here in the bedroom. And there we go, we are fully extended. So, before we get started here, we're gonna start in the back of this coach, but the interior decor of this coach is going to be the Naples, which is going to be kind of our window valances, our countertops, um, the just the decor package total. The wood color here is the Mod Modesto Oak Rift, and this is the matte, not the high gloss finish. So really, really pretty coach inside here. We'll go ahead and start in the back 
of this coach in the master bathroom. So in the very back, we have a full width closet with shelving on the door side. Now back here is also where we're gonna have all of our AV prep stuff. Notice this closet is cedar lined. Help keep the moisture out of your clothes. Safe over there on the door side corner. And then I love this feature. We have the built-in light bar in the hanging rack. Now it is an automatic on and off. I can turn it off just by pushing the button. But beautiful closet. I'll open this side up so you can get a good view of it. Extra hanging rack down below. Tons of space in there. More than enough for two people to travel in this coach for extended periods of time. Down below, Dometic electric flush macerating toilet. And back behind that, we have the emergency egress door. Now we do have a ladder built into that emergency egress door so you don't have to take the leap of faith if you don't want to. Um, if there's a fire in your bedroom, I'd probably recommend doing it. But great safety feature having the emergency egress door back here in the bathroom. Go ahead and turn on some more lights for us. Vanity lights on, accent lights on, and then the inlaid mirror lights as additional vanity lights. Beautiful high-end feel bathroom here. We do have dual side medicine cabinets as well as dual faucets. So if two people need to be back here brushing their teeth, their teeth at the same time, absolutely possible to do so. Down below, tons and tons of drawer space. Every cabinet, every drawer in this coach is going to be soft closing. So you don't ever have to worry about slamming them and damaging them. Great cabinet. What's really pretty is the interior of these cabinets actually match the exterior. Sometimes in the lower end coaches, you don't get that. You know, you'll get your exterior wood color and then a very plain wood on the inside. The King Air does not do that. Moving over to the opposite side, we have a full tile shower. Now we have two safety mechanisms here so that the shower doesn't swing open. This is a glass enclosure. So if it swings over open, while in transit, you do have uh, the chance for a problem. So we have a little latch, open that up, and then there's some really strong magnets here that hold that door closed. Huge shower, this is a full tile shower. We got dual shower heads, so we have the wand, and then the rain up above. Seat in here, now for those of you who don't need it, it just folds up and away. Over here, we have the control to pick which shower head we want to use set our temperature and then this is called the shower miser system which is going to be a recirculation valve that recirculates the cold water from the lines back into your fresh water tank so you're not wasting any water waiting for it to warm up now that oasis chinook i mentioned on the outside is an on-demand hot water heater so it'll take about five seconds of recirculating to get back your hot water back into your lines moving forward to that we have the bosch stacked washer and dryer very important feature here, this Bosch dryer is actually a 220 volt dryer. One of the very, very few coaches that have that. Everyone knows those 110 volt dryers, they work, but not as well as we'd like. Having a 220 volt dryer, it is the exact same as what you would have in your house. I'll be right back, I'm gonna shut this off. Okay, so. In the bedroom, we do have a 72 by 80 king bed. Now this coach does have the option for the sleep number R5 radius corner mattress. So sleep number uh, mattress, you can inflate it or deflate it to make it as firm or as soft as you want while you're sleeping on it. This is also an option in 2022. These storage cabinets above the bed base. And we did go ahead and option this coach with it. We do have two 110 volt outlets back inside of those storage cabinets and holes to run cords down through them if you need them. In each side table here, we have wireless charging. So just throw your phone on there. I have a case on mine, so it might not work. But throw your phone on there and it will start wirelessly charging your phone while you're sleeping. Flipping around to the other side, we have another Samsung 8K TV and then storage on both sides of it. 
Couple AV components over here, but we do have two full open shelves. Down below, another solid surface countertop. An opening window here in the bedroom that is going to act as in as your uh, emergency exit. That's the screen side of it. All right, down below, more drawers for additional wardrobe storage. Again, all soft closing drawers in the new marking air. And then this is an option for 2022 as well. We actually have the fireplace in the bedroom. What's cool about that fireplace is it does act as a 5,000 BTU furnace. So you can draw some additional heat in the bedroom using that fireplace, or you can have no heat at all and just some ambiance lighting. Right here, silver leaf control panel. We'll talk about that more when we get into the front and the main coach. But from the bedroom, we can control every function of this motorhome via this panel. We'll talk about these KIB panels in a second as well. And then our slide out controls up top. Here midship of the coach, we have the half bath, which is going to be another Dometic electric flush macerating toilet. Up above, Numar does an awesome job by putting all of our house circuit breakers and fuses in one nice spot, easy to access, no need to go outside to access any of our circuit breakers for the house. Very residential style, all labeled very nicely. And then more medicine cabinets in our half bath, another mirror with inlaid lighting. I'll get out of the way and let Jody get in there. And then we do have a couple cabinets and drawers down below just for extra toiletry storage or if you're having a guest stay with you, you can keep all their toiletries, toiletries in there as well. All right, so now we can go ahead and talk about the kitchen in the Newmar King Air 4533. So right here, we've got a rollout pantry, six drawers total in this pantry. And then to the right of that, we have our 22 cubic foot Viking residential refrigerator. So it's still packed for shipping, but huge refrigerator, the biggest in its class of this motorhome. Down below, beautiful freezer drawer. And remember, that's 22 cubic feet versus 19.7 that we're used to seeing in these motorhomes. Coming over to the right, storage with adjustable shelves up and down. Notice all of our kitchen cabinets are going to be carpet lined so we don't have to worry about things sliding and rattling around while we're in transit. Viking uh, convection microwave. So it's gonna double as our oven. And then another huge cabinet. Newmore does an awesome job by making that a pull out drawer just to make it a little bit easier to access the things in here. Shelf up above for additional storage. Again, adjustable up and down. We can move it up and down as needed. Down below, back here we've got a total of four outlets that pop up out of the countertop. Really nice flush design if we want to stow them so you don't ever have to worry about or just you have them there if you need them, but you don't have to see them all the time. Next, we have the two burner Wolf induction cooktop. And then last but not least, huge single bowl sink, farmhouse style sink. Now, Another really cool thing that Newmar did is down below that sink, we actually have storage slots for these sink covers. So if you're you know, cooking, doing dishes, whatever, want them out of the way, there's a place here where we can store them and don't have to worry about them being in our way or worry about pushing them off the counter or something and then chipping, cracking a tile. Newmar did about everything they could to make this as user-friendly as possible. One more 
pull out drawer on this side. And then knock twice to unlock it. We have the Fisher and Paykel dishwasher in a drawer. Cutlery drawer. Now, right now, we're gonna see all of our remotes for this motorhome. Remember, we've got four TVs, uh, your awning remotes, Bose sound bars, the fireplace. A lot of this stuff is a little bit redundant, but it's nice to have it all. And then three drawers, absolutely massive on the left side of the countertop. Flipping over to the other side of the coach, we've got the Euro booth dinette, so we can put leafs inside of this table to extend it to accommodate four, or even six people. But if it's just two of you, or even four of you, tons of space here, plenty of room here for four people to sit at the booth. And then moving forward, we've got just the 74 inch sofa. Now this coach, we did option with the dual sofa with the storage ottoman. So in this ottoman, we do have a little bit of storage, great place, you know, a couple extra blankets, pillows, whatever you need. If you're having guests over, go and slide that out of the way for a second. Velcroed on rear backrest here. Now, if you're having guests over, we do have an additional queen bed inside of this 2022 Newmark King Air. So if you uh, are having someone over, a couple extra blankets, pillows, that kind of stuff inside your storage ottoman, and then they can just pull them out, make their bed, and they're ready to sleep. Okay, so now in the living room here, directly across from the TV, we're going to have another 50 inch Samsung 8K HD TV on a lift. Now I really, really like lift or t uh, televators because all that natural light coming in from that big dual pane tinted window is not obstructed by anything unless I want it to be. So push of a button over on the side of the couch here. That TV lift comes up. We have another Bose soundbar. So better sound quality than what we're gonna get out of that Samsung TV. And there you go. Great seating position. You don't have to turn your head at all to look at that TV. We'll go ahead and go down with it now. And I guess right now would be a great time to talk about these KIV panels. So, in this coach, we're gonna have nine of these panels. There's one up here, one on the opposite side of me, bathrooms, all of, they're all over the place, okay? Now these are kind of our individual coach controls, all right? So for lighting, I can control my ceiling lights, my accent lighting, all this right here without ever having to get out of my seat. Down below that, we've got our shades. So let's just do, we're getting ready to go to bed for the night. Kitchen and living room, night shades. One button on that KIB panel and we're gonna completely black this coach out. Now, I feel it's important to note that we can also control each one of these window shades individually. So let's just say I, the sun was beating on me from right here. I could just close that shade, keep the sun out of the coach. Now, the new Marking Air is standard with both day and night shades. So we just saw the night shades. Those are gonna be our total blackout privacy shades. Our day shades are more of a solar shade just to keep the sun from beating into this coach and heating it up. Also provides a little bit extra privacy. Next on this KIB panel, we're gonna have our fans. So we have two, three roof fans on this 2022 King Air 4533. We have one in the kitchen, one in the half bath, and one in the master bath. We can turn any one of them on 
from here. Each one of those fans does have a rain sensor on it, so if it starts getting wet, it'll go ahead and shut that thing down. We can also activate the rain sensor override here on this panel as well. In our systems control, we can turn on and off our water pump, start and stop the generator, TV lift up and down, and my favorite feature is the theater mode. That's gonna be in our system sub panel. So what happens when I hit theater mode is it's going to drop all of our nightshades. It's gonna bring up our TV lift and it dims all of our lights to be just accent lighting and courtesy lighting. So courtesy lighting's on the floor, accent lighting's up above. Sets you up nicely to have, sit in, have a nice relaxing night watching a movie. Next sub panel, we have monitor panel. This one's pretty basic. It's gonna tell us our water levels for fresh, gray, and black tank in a percent, as well as our battery levels and where we're drawing our power from. And then window awnings for those Gerard awnings that cover the windows. Now remember, window awnings are just meant to keep the sun from beating into the motorhome and causing it to heat up during the summer months. And that's pretty much gonna be it for our KIB panels. Now there's a couple different ways we can control this coach and we'll get to those as we go. But KIB panels a lot better than the old analog systems that we used to have. Going along with coach controls, let's talk about our full control panel up here. So in this cabinet directly above the driver he driver's head, we can do anything we need to on this motorhome. So we're gonna start over here with just switches, security lights, okay? Those are gonna be our exterior lights. We have driver and passenger side. We can turn them on, just a momentary switch. We can also turn them on from our KIB panels or the panel out in our water bay. Privacy drapes, these are gonna be our front privacy drapes. Um, really, just an easier way to access them without having to go find a KIB panel. Satellite system on and off. Now this coach is connect, er, equipped with the WineGuard RTT20B, which is an in-motion satellite for either DirecTV or Dish Network. Um, just depends on how you want it set up. It's easy to swap over with just five dip switches. And then security sensors, basically just gonna alert you if there is an issue inside of your motorhome. Moving over here, we've got our slide out controls, driver's side and passenger side slide outs, exterior LEDs, exterior entry strip, step, and then your Wi-Fi router on and off. Right here, we've got the WineGuard uh, Wi-Fi Ranger controls. And then here, we've got the controls for our Gerard awnings. Now that's gonna be our two integrated roof awnings, as well as the awning directly over the entry door. And then last but not least, we have our Silverleaf panel. Now this is the main control for this motorhome. So right here, we're looking at the climate screen. So we can see the temperature that it is inside, the temperature it's set to, and then our exterior temp. So it's 88 degrees outside. I have it set to 65 and we're sitting at 66 degrees inside. We can also turn on our Oasis system, which again is gonna be our furnace as well as hot water. If we go to the home screen, we're gonna look at our battery levels, our fresh gray and black tank levels, as well as where we're drawing power from. Now something that was new for 2022 and I think is a really, really nice feature is bat our house batteries, instead of being expressed as a voltage level, they're expressed as a percentage. So right now we're sitting in 95 95% battery level. It's a lot easier to understand where your batteries are really at in a percentage than this is saying 13.2 volts. But if I unplugged it, it would, or if I turned the generator off, it would probably drop down to 12.6. It's just a lot more easy way to understand, a lot more intuitive. AC power. Again, just gonna tell us where we're getting our power from, and we can turn on and off our two inverters. DC power, it's gonna tell us our battery levels. Now, I mentioned that we do have temperature sensors inside of that battery bay. They're displayed right here, so the battery bay right now is 82 degrees. Again, we do have heat down there for your winter camping, as well as a cooling system for your summer camping. Generator, start and stop it. Look at how it's running, all that stuff. More importantly, right here, we can set our auto gen start settings. So with the auto gen start, if we were ever leaving the coach, and let's just say we were leaving our puppy in here, we can set it so that if it gets too hot, it turns the generator on, turns on our three air conditionings, cools the coach down. Or we can set it if our batteries get too low, kicks the generator on, charges, charges them to a predetermined level or a certain amount of time, and then shuts the generator down. One, it ensures that our dogs don't cook, and two, it ensures that we don't come back to a dead coach and have to figure that out. Next, water, or water page. 
So again, we can see our levels for fresh black and gray tank, turn on and off our water pump, and also we can auto fill or top off our fresh water tank. So if we're sitting on city water and we're getting ready to leave, we can just hit top off now. And it's gonna change from city water to tank fill, fill up the water tank. Once it hits 100%, it'll go ahead and shut it back to city water. That way we don't ever have to go outside, switch valves around, things like that. One of the very few uh, coaches in this country that can do that. Block heater on and off for those winter campers. Batteries, just gonna tell us our percentage, how much time we have left with them, as well as our uh, temperature. Floor heat, so we do have three zones of floor heat in the new marking air, this is standard. So front, rear, and mid. We have 10 different levels that we can set that to, that is electric radiant floor heat. And then door locks, unlock all of our baggage doors and uh, entry door. Control all of our lights and shades. And then a camera system, so we can scroll through the different cameras on the exterior of the coach. Let's just say we hear a sound at night, don't wanna go outside and look at it. We can look at them on this screen or that silver leaf screen that is in the bedroom. So with coach controls, every new King Air does come with a Samsung tablet and a MyRosie app. So basically what that does is it allows you to control any of your multiplex system, light, shade, start and stop the generator, um, basically anything off of your tablet from anywhere in the coach. You can also download the MyRosie app on your phone, do it there as well. And the cool thing about MyRosie is if this coach is connected to Wi-Fi somewhere, let's say you've got it in a storage unit and that storage unit has Wi-Fi and it's stored in New York and you're in California, you can actually control this coach while it's sitting in storage using that MyRosie app so long as the coach is connected to Wi-Fi. All right, so before I go into the cab, let's talk about the most important seat here, the passenger seat. So in the Newmark King Air standard, we do have heated cooling and massaging seats. Now over on this right side, we do have a monitor panel so that your passenger can do things like set your navigation while you're on the road. You can also view all the cameras so that your passenger can be watching the camera while you're watching a mirror if you're backing into a tight spot. Over here, we also have our step cover switch, push a button, out and up it comes flush now that is a load bearing step so i can stand on it if i want to no worries there map lights on and off just the lights up above my head in case i'm the kind of person who still reads the map and then we have wireless charging over here so our passenger can just throw their phone on this mat starts charging right away now we also have hvac controls over here for the passenger side so we have dual so zone climate control even in the cab of this 2022 new marking air and both our driver and passenger seat here are heated, cooled, and massaging, massaging seats. Excuse me, a nice, comfortable seat while you're driving down the road. So we're gonna go and fire up. Okay, so driver conveniences here in the 2022 new marking air. We have the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So button over on the left side tilts the wheel button over here telescopes it so I can move it up and down it's probably not super noticeable and I also have power adjustable pedals controlled right here on the right side of the steering wheel over on my left side we have the HWH computerized leveling so that is going to be four point hydraulic automatic leveling when I pull into a campground all I have to do hold this auto level button for about a second it's going to dump the air out of my airbags it's going to drop four jacks down below and set us up level easy as can be. Touchpad here for our Allison six-speed automatic transmission. Now we do have drive neutral reverse as well as mode. So mode switch changes from economy to performance mode basically going to give us 300 more RPMs before the transmission shifts. We can also manually shift up and down as needed. Tag dump switch nothing you ever have to worry about unless you're in a really really sticky situation and can't get traction you can dump that tag axle in the back put more weight on your drive axles to add traction engine brake on and off and then high medium and low over on the left side of the steering wheel we have our parking brake push to release pull to apply headlight controls we do have auto headlights so they'll just turn on and off as the sun goes down or comes up power mirrors power adjusting mirrors both driver and passenger side as well as heated mirrors for those cold and foggy days 
really cool positioning here but we do have wireless charging in the cab of this 2022 new mark hanger as well so i threw my phone up there started charging right away increment switch here to bright and dim the dash fog light interruption or high beam interruption or i'm sorry uh not fog light marker light so basically what this is a flasher switch so if a semi is passing you and you want to let them know you're clear push the button it kicks on the high beams really quick just to let them know that it's clear or you can flash your marker lights as well dome lights on and off again just more map lights auto high beams so your high beams will come on and off as traffic is coming by you if you're driving at night traction control override power toll window for the driver's side air horn switch so we have two horns the first one is going to be our air horn if i turn that switch off we've got just a city horn house and ba chassis battery boost disconnect if one of our battery banks were to ever die we can pull power off of the other battery bank in order to uh, get us started or get our house alive now really cool switch here heavy tow mode so basically what that is, is a proportional axle in the rear. So what it's gonna do is overinflate our tag axle to redistribute the weight of a trailer across the entire length of this motorhome, giving you a safer, stable drive, safer, more stable, sturdy drive. Here on the dash, we've got the Valor dash, going to tilt the steering wheel down just a little bit. So every King Air does come standard with mobile eye and on guard collision mitigation. So your mobile eye is gonna be your lane departure warning. So we can see these two arrows here. If I was in a lane, they would go green. But basically if I start drifting to one side or the other too far, it's gonna give me a vibrating seat, a haptic feedback in the street seat to let me know that I'm over the line. Now on guard collision mitigation is adaptive cruise control as well as an emergency braking system. So here we can set our distance to long, medium, or short. I think it's 0.3 second increments um, from 3.2 up to 3.9. That doesn't sound right, but it's close to that. I'll figure it out. And if you want, give me a call and I'll tell you about it. But uh, basically what that's going to do is speed us up and slow us down with traffic so we don't ever have to kick off our cruise control. Really handy feature there. For those of you who do not like it, you can actually just disable it and you go back to standard cruise control. TPMS. So we have TPMS at all three axles. We also have the ability to integrate a trailer back there as long as we use the Valor TPMS. Info screen, this is very important because it tells us the status of our baggage doors, our entry door, the generator, and our uh, engine access cover. So right now they're all green except for my entry door indicating that my entry door is open. But if I open a baggage door and those electric sensors went off, it would say that one of my baggage doors is open. As soon as I went to put it in drive, um, it would go to the screen. Trip, just so you can monitor what uh, your fuel mileage and stuff is. Messages, just if you have any issues, it'll pull them up. And then my favorite thing of the K3605 chassis, the Spartan K3 chassis really, is going to be we do have air leveling as well as hydraulic leveling. So if I open this up, it gives us kind of a little bubble, up, bubble level set up here. So for those of you who don't stop in campgrounds all the time, you have the ability to just air level rather than dropping your jack. So let's just say we're stopping at a Bass Pro Shop for a night. Um, don't want to drop the jacks down, just want to get close enough so we can go to sleep. All you have to do is come in here, hit auto level. It's going to use the airbags of this motorhome to adjust the and get us level so that we can just crash for a night without ever dropping our jacks. Now, there's a couple ways to get out of that. One, if you drive over five miles an hour, it's gonna go back to ride height or come back, hit travel, and it's gonna take us back to ride height. Now with this, we can also manually level, just depending on what we're doing and what we need. We can also raise or lower the motorhome two inches at a time. So if you need to back into a driveway and it's got a big curb, we can raise up the motorhome for two inches um, to get us over there without scraping the bottom of the motorhome. Over to the right, we've got our two panels or two screens here. So on the right side, we have just a dedicated camera screen. So right now we're looking at the rear view camera. Now I mentioned on the outside, we can adjust where we're looking at. So with a button on the left screen here, I can look down. Now if I hit a hitch here, you'd be able to see that ball looking straight down at it so I can line up to my trailer easier look farther out backwards if I'm trying to back into a campground or just our normal view. 
Now, every new marquee air does come standard with the OmniView 360 camera system, so we can look out the front and see our beautiful video truck. Left blinker, we're gonna see some slide outs, and then directly out the left side of the motorhome. Same on the right. All controlled right here at the driver's fingertips. Now, it's important to note that that control pad on the passenger side can also control all of these functions. So if the passenger is sitting there is like, I want to look out the right side of the motorhome and pushes the button on that their control pad, it'll actually show up here as well on the driver's screen. We can also use the preset screens to look at all of our cameras at one time. So this is left side, right side, rear and front, or the 360 camera, which gives us kind of a bird's eye view at the top of the motorhome to show us all our cameras integrated together. In this screen, we do have our radio as well. So we have AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM radio. We also have navigation using the Navingo system. What's cool about Navingo is we can actually set the parameters of this motorhome. So we're 44 feet, 11 inches long, 13 feet, four high, 53,000 pound GVWR. We can set all that in here and then it will never take us on a route that we cannot make it down. So if there's a low bridge, it'll reroute us around that rather than us figuring it out the hard way. Down below those screens, a couple more switches here. So one, heated steering wheel. Um, I thought that was always kind of silly until I owned a truck with it, and now I'll never own a truck without it, especially if you're a Colorado person. Front fan, basically what this is, is an additional heat source from the main furnace down below to keep this cab warm in your winter driving. Overhead fans for additional air circulation here in the cab and they also act as additional defrosters if it is cold and foggy out. This is a really big windshield to defrost, so having those overhead fans does help. Docking lights, which is gonna be rearward facing lights on the exterior of the motorhome. Basically what they do is light up what's behind us so that we can back into our campgrounds because we always seem to get there at night. Courtesy lights, which is lights down below. Generator start and stop, entry door lock, and then our shades and visors for the cab. And down below that, we have our HVAC controls for the cab, the driver's side of this motorhome. Now with the passenger side having HVAC controls as well, it is split from left side to right side. So if you're driving by yourself, you wanna set that before you take off. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Newmark King Air, 4533. Um, like I said, as of July 5th, I don't know what time it is, probably about 11 o'clock, this coach is available. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week.